Hey. Oh my god, Daniel. Oh, I can't do anything. Well, right Stop recording. Stop. So what's up guys, this is Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead and yes, we made it back from Florida. I, it doesn't appear any of us are sick. I guess we got two weeks to find out. Um, some people are very concerned about us. We appreciate it, but I think we're all right. So Houston, what are we doing today? Well, can I just show y'all what I'm going to be doing today? I got this from a subscriber. Shout out to you for sending me this. Hey, Ed Kirkpatrick. Yeah, Ed Kurt. Um, uh, so tell us about this boat. What are you going to be doing with this boat today? This isn't any any kind of like milking control boat. This is a fishing milking control boat. Yeah. So, so you think you're going to take that to the creek and try to catch a fish yeah. with a boat? Yeah. So before we go down to the creek and apparently try to catch a fish with a boat, I don't know, something Houston's always wanted to do and just so happened... Ed uh, sent Houston an early birthday present. Why are you grooming me while I'm talking to the camera? Sorry, it was a bug. Ugh. Uh, but apparently my wife is all about that snack game today. Yep. Are you feeling hungry? Coming back from the beach got your appetite up? No, not mine. But I haven't got to feed my animals, so I gotta give <laughs> so them some treats. Who do you think's gonna eat cheese balls? Hey, the pigs might love them. Who knows? Those aren't my animals, but I mean, we could This try. morning. Oh, yeah. This morning when Joe was over here. I who's, who's Joe? Well, you can't just say when Joe was here. Who are you talking about? Who's Joe? My uncle, Joe. Our uncle Joe. Okay. <laughs> um, I was down there with the pigs with him, and I petted one, and it started to, like, munch on my finger. <laughs> you wanted a marshmallow, huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So before we go to the creek, we're going to go feed all the animals, check in. I've already checked on all the animals, I promise you. We've been here since last night, and uh, everything's in good shape. Uh, everyone was concerned about what in the world we do. Does anybody feed our animals when we're gone? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely somebody comes over and feeds our animals. We actually hired one of Weston's friends that had just graduated high school that uh, I trust to take care of the animals. And he came down and house sat for us, stayed the night. That's what I was wanting on video. <laughs> Steve's ready to see us. Anyways, uh, so he, we paid one of Weston's friends to come feed for us. and So all the animals are in good shape. I think what I'm going to do is just turn the goats out and let them graze. Let them get out of here. And then we'll see if old Steve wants some snacks. There's Bear. What's up, buddy? Everybody's like, where y'all been at? I haven't seen you in forever. Lots of goats. All right, go. Get out of here. Go graze. Come on. Come on. You ready, Steve? Speed ya, boy. You're a big boy. Big boy. Sorry, Belly, you're not coming in right now. Hey, Steve. What's happening? Huh? Did you miss me? Here. Come on. Steve. <laughs> Snuck the carrot in on him. Hey, so in the video before we left, you announced that his name was Steve, but everybody wanted to know what the, uh, the Jenny's name was. They didn't catch it earlier. They want to know if we changed her name or what. So. Um, I haven't. I haven't changed her name yet. Not yet. So as of right now, she's still freedom. She's still freedom. She's still free. Free on her name. <laughs> oh, there's a buy on him. Well, everybody's kind of friendly today. The little buck's being friendly. And uh, I almost said Big Mac. Whopper there. Apparently he needs, it's just, he just needed to relieve himself. Whopper was up here a second ago when I was down here. He was loving on me too. See if he wants this. You may have to break the tip of that cucumber off so he can tell what it is. Here you go. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I, I think Steve knows what he likes. Yep. And he likes those peppermint treats. He did eat a he did eat a carrot just now. Alright, here. 
Oh, oh, is he gonna eat it? Oh, he thought about it. Nope. He's like, not the dog. I know you want this. Oh, yeah, that's what you wanted. Yeah, he knows what he likes. Steve's not a dummy. Come here. Oh, you're gonna try to trick him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he ate it. Ah, oh, you turd! He spit that grape out. You said he ate it. He spit it out. Oh, he ate it that time. Whoa. I am not doing that again. What happened? I was trying Here. to catch that little boy up. <laughs> Quit! What in his nose? I don't know what you're doing, but uh, everyone's waiting to see what you're. Uh, what you're gonna do next? You got the alpacas over there. You got Steve. They don't have time for you to be on your phone. Listen, I'm sharing them with the world. Sharing them with the world. Yes, Instagram. Come on now. Well, uh, they hungry. They're fine. <laughs> I just want treats. All right, Steve. She wants to know what kind of junk food eater you are. Yep. Moving on to cheese balls. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, he likes those. <laughs> They're chewy to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's like, oh, I can't get them. <laughs> Stuck on your roof of your mouth. I know the feeling. That's what happens to me. Another one? Hmm? He thinks you're trying to poison him. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He's just trying to figure out what they are. Is it like a paper ball in your mouth? Hey. Oh, Sam, try. Quit eating the donkey treats. <laughs> These are not donkey treats. I'm <laughs> just sharing them. Well, you've definitely got an audience behind you. Don't forget about them. Well, I gave little bridges here a peppermint a while ago. Ah! Ah! She won't come closer, I don't think. <laughs> Look at that little yeah. rooster eating the cheese ball. <laughs> oh it's about as close as I like to be to a chicken. <laughs> Want one? No? Come on. No? You done? He said, yep, I'm done. So I've got one more thing for you, babe. I need to know something. I need hey. I need to. <laughs> I need Please don't touch me. <laughs> um, so someone sent you some halters and lead ropes in the mail. And we don't know if uh, Steve over there's halter broke. I kind of want to know, so, uh... I'm kind of a little nervous. Donkey mom. I'm going to try to ride this hey, boy. Watch out, Houston. Watch out. That rooster likes the cheese balls. And I still like Look it. at him. Me! Oh my gosh! What'd you do that for? I was trying to video him eating a cheese ball. You scared us all. Gosh. Gemma, I don't think you're the one supposed to be eating all those cheese balls. Just can't quit, huh? Hey, I just have one question. Did you wear protective footwear? Did not. Alright. So do you think he's halter broke? No. You don't think so? What does halter broke mean? Come here, bud. Broke to lead. Put a halter on him and... Hey. You didn't have a treat in your hand. I didn't. I'm out. <laughs> hey, mom's scared of the chicken. We're just gonna have to bear with her for a minute. <laughs> I wanna get stuff done. Like this? Which way? I already lost it already. <laughs> no. Which way? The circle goes under his chin. The circle. Put the pretty band across his nose. Well, there's three pretty bands. Yep. Right here? Yep. Is that, or should I go tighter? I can't tell, baby. I think that's as tight as I can get it. Whoa, baby. Whoa. 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 <laughs> oh, Rufus, no. No, Rufus. You get back, Rufus. You get back. Yeah, right. Back. Thank you.
A little bit. I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> Try to keep the walk a little bit. Come on, Steve. <laughs> it's definitely not Hunter broke. He has not broke the lead. At least not yet, anyways. How are you, Steve? The halter's a little big. Can you leave a carrot? Again? Huh? Go ahead. Come on, come on. There you go. Oh. No, he's just gonna hold it in his mouth there he's and just. Chewing. He's See? boycotting you. See? <laughs> Rufus? Rufus? Hey, I ain't getting kicked for you. Standoff. <laughs> You're not tougher than me. You might be tougher than Gemma. Gemma, get back. <laughs> what? I was like, I'm scared to go. Definitely don't trust him right now. Are you good now? Huh? Are you calm down? Nope. <laughs> what are we doing? Huh? You want me out of here? Huh? Oh my god. It's the weirdest animal. What? So clearly Rufus does not like me messing with the donkeys. So we tried to put the halter on, or we did put the halter on Steve, just to see if he was halter broke, which it doesn't fit properly. Rufus, bro. So next time we try that, we will put Steve in a separate pin from Rufus. Rufus is a, he's an alpaca. He's a, a guardian animal and he is working circles around me he doesn't want me around any of these other animals and uh he, while he was showing aggression towards steve while ago I, I think it was more because of me i was causing the problem and rufus didn't like it he why thought i think he thought steve was attacking me and uh why are you he wants me out of this pen So we got all the animals fed and taken care of and settled in and calmed down and you know all the above but now we can actually get to the real reason for today's video and that is to see if houston can it's catch a fish rock. no it's not to see if houston can step a rock it's to see if houston can catch a fish with a remote control boat hey i suggest you don't go scare all the fish off with that rock so do you really think you can catch a fish with a boat yeah but first, we catch, before we catch a fish, we're going to drive it around for a few minutes. Make sure you know how to drive it first? Yeah. Okay. Set it in. Okay. Go over there by Bear, look at him. If you can drive it over there. <laughs> oh, I know how to back it up. Bear didn't like that thing, did he? Watch, I can back it up. Yep. You can't drive it backwards while you're fishing or you'll get your fishing line all tangled in your boat motor, okay? I know. 
So we're not gonna start off with anything too crazy. It's not like we're gonna go to the pond and try to catch a two pound bass with this little bitty boat. So we're gonna start off with just a little bobber and a hook with a worm and try to catch probably a bluegill, maybe a small bass. I don't know, we might get lucky and catch a, a, a bullhead catfish. Turtle. Hopefully not a turtle. I think we'll, be, we'll be swimming for the boat if you catch a turtle. So let's get it rigged up and see if we can catch a fish. Let's try not to get any leeches. Okay, we got our line hooked on. It's got about, comes with about six feet of line, a little bobber, and a little small hook. So let's we'll see if Houston can catch a bluegill. You guys turned on? About right there. Oh! Dang, your bobber already went under. Let go. Stop, stop, stop. Your bobber went under. But you took off too soon. Alright, you're getting a nibble. You're getting a nibble. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go forward. Are you going to come over here to us? Yeah. You still got a fish? I think so. Hey, Houston. Yeah. I can see the fish swimming around. Tell me what you did wrong. I accidentally tangled it up. So off camera, I was very, very adamant to Houston. Do not put this boat in reverse once you got fishing line on there, or what will happen? The line will get tangled up. It get all tangled up, and now Houston's boat is dead in the water out there. 30 seconds into catching the first fish because why because somebody went in reverse and now when you go in reverse the propellers back there and you suck in all that fishing line right so now we have a boat kind of dead in the water well Houston your boats dead in the water I can see the fish swimming around underneath it and uh, I don't feel like swimming worried me for a second because I was like oh my gosh oh my gosh I got a fish and it just went so fast I just did it and it just and I just freaked out and I just accidentally went backwards yep so uh, your boats way over there and we're way over here might want to take that shirt off and get to swimming nope you were doing that yeah nope yep hey bear can you do Houston a favor? Stop. What in the world? She jumped in. What are you doing on the four-wheeler, Gemma? Well, looky there. Somebody doesn't have an excuse not to go swimming now. <laughs> you gonna jump in, Emma? Uh-uh. Oh, so you know what happened? What? I said Houston. All right, buddy. When I put this fishing line on here, you can only go forward because if you go backward, what do you think is going to happen when there's fishing line behind the boat? What do you think would happen? Oh, it would wind up. The... It would all wind up on the boat motor, right? Yeah. So Houston goes out there, in three seconds he catches a fish. What's the first thing he does? He backed it up. He backed it up. Now, I freaked out. He's got to go swimming because his boat. Hey, I don't Dead care. in the water. I don't care. You did. You were telling me a while ago you weren't going to get it. Now I look at you. Might as well take a shower, so. All right, little swimmer boy. Hope the creek's nice and cold. You wish. See you when you get back. It's cold, and I don't know if I want to go in my normal shorts. Oh, you're going to go in your underwear, huh? No! Well, that's your options. Swim in the shorts you got on, or your underwear. Like a real country boy. Thought you were a real country boy. I never said I was. Oh. You just play one on YouTube? Hmm? Let's go. Go get that boat. I want to catch fish. What do you think, Bella? 
I think he can do it. I think he can do it. Better just jump and go. We're gonna be here all day. Hey, there's a crawdad. Hey, quit distracting and go swimming. If Jacoby was here, he would do it. But only if he had a life jacket. Where are you going? I'm gonna run and jump, I said. Let's go, that's far enough. Ah! See, you were just scared. I'm thinking. One, two, three, go. Well, that's a slow run. Oh, you want me to go faster? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, you're already there. Don't come back now. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. Don't come in. back now. You're already there. I'm jumping in. There's just a fish. I feel the fish. It feels good, honestly. But I got a stick, though. You didn't help at all. Well, you lost the race, Bella won. I don't care about the race. All right, let's see it, dude. You got a fish on there? Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> you wound him up tight, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I told you. Let me see. You wound him all the way up. All your fishing lines are wound up on your propeller. But hey, you got a bluegill with a boat. All right, Houston. We are officially ready for attempt number two. I got all the fishing line untangled out of the propeller. I, I spared you guys bad. that because it was... Stop that. Oh, look at you. I spared you guys that because it took a while. That says D D D. It looks like to me. No, it's da D A D. I right. kind of did this one wrong. Well, Mr. Caveman, drawing over there. Let's uh, see if you can go catch us a fish. Okay, easy. That's right, I agree with you. So, uh, attempt number two is a fail. <laughs> I feel really bad. I feel really bad for Houston, but um, we're having some, some issues with the boat control, the remote control for the boat. And uh, when I picked it up to uh, help him take off across the water, I noticed water pouring out of the remote, out of this part. And I said, uh, do you know anything about how this got wet? What happened? I splashed it. Bella shook off and got mud and rocks all over it. So Houston thought this needed to be cleaned. So he took it down to the water and cleaned it. And the light, we've got the light coming back on now. A while ago, the light would not even come on. Um, but we can't get it to communicate with the boat and give us any power for the propeller or the rudder. The rudder? What is that? That's what makes it turn. That's what makes it steer. So, will a remote control boat catch a fish? Well, it did. It dang sure did. It caught one fish. Hey, you're going to break that. Quit spinning it. And then we can't get it to work. So... I feel really, really, really bad for Houston, and uh, I also feel bad for for the money that Ed Kirkpatrick spent. This little remote control boat came from Bass Pro. I, I don't know how much he spent to send this to Houston, but apparently it worked for a grand total of about... 10 minutes. I was gonna say like 30 seconds before you wrap the string up in the propeller, and uh, that was our only shot. We did catch one fish. We caught one bluegill on it. Hey, hey, at least it worked. It did work. We know it worked to catch a fish. It so, just so, does not work to drive around in the water anymore. But if we need to, instead of just using a fishing pole, we can just buy one of these boats. And catch a very expensive, one very expensive little bluegill, huh? Not just one, probably. So, hey. What do you say to Ed for sending you an early birthday present? Thank you. 
Um, I'm sorry for you spending money on this for me. I accidentally broke it. Oh, well, listen, Houston, nobody's mad at you. I'm not mad at you, I promise. I'm, I'm really sad for you is what I am. And uh, who knows, maybe after everything dries out, see, I can't get the light to come on now. Maybe after it dries out, uh, we could at least take it home, open it up, see if we can get the dry out. You never know, it might work. But uh, important lesson learned, Houston. Electronics and water don't mix very well, do they? Well, this is electronic, Dad. I know, but that's built to go in the water, and this part clearly wasn't. Clearly. So now we got to find something else to do. Hey, you could just go swimming again. No, it is cold. Oh, you said it felt good. Once you're in for a while, it is. But once you get in all the way, mm -mm. Well, I guess that's just how some days go. Um, <laughs> you know, we had a, a great vacation, a great time in Pensacola, Florida. Spent a lot of great time as a family together and had some awesome days where nothing went wrong. And uh, you guys got to give me some room to talk. You know, I know you missed me, but go, 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 go. But days like today where we try to do something with the donkeys and then get Rufus all stirred up and things went south quickly and uh, just trying to keep the keep the donkey safe from Rufus and me safe from Rufus until Rufus got calmed down and thought, well, I'm going to have to scrap that video because that's scrap a lot of that because that's not going to work. And then Houston and I go down to the creek with his little boat and try to catch some fish and uh, nothing goes right. You know, it was just one of those things where first it was the string gets wrapped around the motor. Then second, the remote control quits working and Houston walks over to me while I wasn't recording and said, we'll just have to scrap that video and go do something else. And uh, probably that's probably what we should have done. But I, I just want to show we don't live a perfect life. Nobody lives a perfect life. There's only one person who's ever walked this earth that had a truly perfect life. And he had trouble. I mean, he, he was a perfect person. Maybe he didn't have a perfect life because he had trials and tribulations. Jesus Christ was persecuted every day. And he was without blame and without sin. And uh, we live in a sinful world. And I'm just not saying that the things that happened today are because of sin. But I just want you guys to know, sometimes not everything goes as planned or goes right. And that's okay. That's okay. We need to teach our children that just because something doesn't go perfectly and doesn't go right, that, that, that we just scrap it and pretend it didn't happen so we show you guys our failures and our mistakes we're out here having fun and uh, we tried to go catch a bunch of fish with a boat it sounded like fun it just didn't work out and uh, you know what I feel like uh, off camera Houston came up to me a while ago he was kind of crying and he said I, f I feel like I need to send Ed Kirkpatrick some money to pay for the boat that I broke and uh, it kind of, it really kind of touched me. It was kind of sad. You know, I feel bad for the little guy. He didn't do anything on purpose. I know that. He knows that. But it just shows if we teach our kids right from wrong and we try to lead them down the right path and we teach them the ways of, of the Bible and what Christ would do and what Jesus would do and what God wants us to do, they're going to turn out to be good people. And I think Houston's on the right path. So, anyways... Oh, aside from that, is there anything else you well, want to say, Houston? Well, actually, we don't... Before you, want to, before you crash that bike coming down the stairs? Well, actually, we don't have to end this video right... Oh, wait, yeah, we do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up before we break something else today. <laughs> Such as you trying to ride a bicycle down the stairs. Um, no thank you. So, let's wrap this thing up, buddy. So, if you haven't already, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video. So guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.